dear all welcome to simplified triple studies hope you are doing well have you watched my previous session i have done the different type of techniques which are applied for the dsm so you will be understanding you will be learning the different type of dsm techniques which is available in my previous video i request you to watch my previous video to get to know more about various type of dsm techniques in this session i am going to discuss one of the most essential topic related to dsa every every customers are using a motto for different applications for example water pumping application motor is compulsory motor water pump system water pump set is required motor is one of the important part of water pump set so what are the criteria for purchasing a motor you need to purchase a motor okay so what are the criteria you need to follow so make sure that high efficient motor need to be selected i'll be showing a checklist which you can able to follow before selecting a suitable efficient motor moving on to the discussion first and foremost make sure that you are selecting the highest efficiency motor so efficiency you can able to calculate by taking you can conduct a load test you can able to conduct a load test you can able to determine you can predetermine the efficiency by using a different method okay so p not by p output power divided by input power need to be calculated you need to do the predetermination there are different techniques available you must have learned in electric machines power factor is on one of the major constraints the power factor can be corrected by using external capacitor while purchasing a motor you need to think about the power factor again you need to find out the size of a capacitor which you can able to make use of that and if we, anyway efficiency cannot be corrected but the power factor can be improved by using different techniques cost of the motor is another important matter okay cost should be moderate so it has a significant role when compared to the running cost that is true and efficiency should be one of the determining factors in purchase of motor so you have to underline the word efficiency Uh, the decision is to be strictly compa uh, strictly on comparative cost benefit analysis you need to undergo a cost benefit analysis for certain years then only you can able to purchase the particular motor you need to find you the cost benefit analysis and uh, it is always better don't go for repairing of the inefficient motor which you are using in your uh, particular field suppose you are a farmer for you are doing lot of uh, agricultural uh, work in that purpose you might have used uh, certain motor so if the motor is still getting aged or uh, highly inefficient please don't use that okay in spite of that you can purchase a new motor so that is a remarkable point and also better select the motor with high operating speed as you know that the motor speed will be directly proportional to the motor efficiency so both are directly proportional this factor you have to keep in your mind okay then you should have a better study about the speed torque characteristics like this can you able to see the graph can you see the graph yeah so the graph shows the torque versus speed here you can able to identify what the category of motor you need to select understand uh, what is the uh, the rated speed at the rated speed what is the maximum amount of torque like this you can able to uh, calculate it it is better to study certain amount of data sheet it is always better to refer data sheet whenever you are purchasing a motor definitely company provides the quotations i request you to collect the quotations and you can able to understand different type of uh, criteria uh, parameters like uh, speed torque etc everything motor bearing so ident uh, identify the quality of bearing used in the motor sleeve bearing and anti friction bearing how they are going to use then power rating is another important factor usually power rating will be available in terms of hp like uh, half hp pump quarter hp pump like this you will be getting different rating okay and also uh, you can able to select the motor based on the uh, power rating like uh, for dc motor uh, identify the power range induction motor single phase induction motor if you are using a single phase induction motor the thing is it is not is not a self starting but the three phase induction motor is a self starting device so if you if you are planning to buy a single phase induction motor just check the requirement how you are performing the starting it's not a self starting device 
and the motor and its environment is also matters a lot like uh, what kind of uh, material which is used in the motor and the cooling arrangement and uh, the availability of water uh, requirement cooling power then heat fins how many fins are connected over the motor okay then humidity corrosion all the things need to be considered and you have to understand what kind of load you are going to use the motor is nothing but it converts electrical power to mechanical power so what kind of load you are connecting with the motor that you need to identify suppose water pump set okay motor motor is coupled with a water pump so uh, if you are using induction motor induction motor is coupled with a centrifugal pump at that time you need to understand uh, what kind of load you are going to use say pump study the pump characteristics and the duty cycle how long the motor will be operated how long it is going to off how long it is going to run that you need to understand so that is the word meaning of duty cycle is it a heavy duty application or a light duty application that you have to keep in your mind uh, so in this session i have discussed uh, important criteria which are related to motor like power factor efficiency uh, then relation between speed and efficiency Uh, then replacing of inefficient motor study of speed or characteristics and uh, features of motor bearings and then power rating motor and its environment the meti quality of material which are used in the motor and uh, study of duty is it a light duty or heavy duty motor and uh, study of load characteristics these are the things you need to follow uh, at least uh, before purchasing a motor okay you should have a very good literature review that's very important Uh, speak with expertise those who are good in the area so likewise you can have an interaction okay uh, if you send any uh, email or any other uh, contact definitely company company associates is, are going to produce certain amount of data sheet you can go through that go through the quotation very clearly then only you will understand let me know if you are having any queries finally thank you very much for watching this video